Welcome to the next video of the RESTful tutorial series. In the last couple of videos, we created RESTful Web Service from User Services Resource class and tested all of its methods. Today, I want to run one of these methods, mostly the get user, and enhance the configuration of our web service. Whenever we hit any web service URL with some HTTP request method, the Jersey servlet searches for the root resource class corresponding to that HTTP URL and request method. And we saw it earlier in some of my previous video that it searches for the root resource class in the entire class path of the project. So if we have many files and folder inside our project, then this scanning would be an expensive task. Now we'll try to find out few ways by which this scanning time could be reduced. One way is to specify the package name in the web.xml file. We have to pass one init param to our jersey servlet container specifying the package name. First let's check the console without any change being made. We have this URL and this corresponds to get user method here. Let's hit this URL and check what is coming in the log. Okay, we can see here that it is scanning for root resource class in webinf lib and webinf classes folder and this is a thing which we are going to stop because this is going to take a lot of time if we have a big project. So first let's edit the web.xml file and put our configuration there. Here inside servlet we'll put one init param param name param value param name would be com dot sun dot jersey dot config dot property dot packages in param value we need to specify the package where the jersey has to search for the root resource classes for us it will be com.service.user We can add many packages here and they should be comma separated. Let's build the project and run it on the server. Okay, now hit the same URL and let's check what is coming in the log. We can see now it's not scanning for the root resource classes in the entire class path. It's saying that it is scanning for the root resource class in the packages com.service.user and then it got the user service, uh, services resource class. So now the scanning would be a little faster as opposed to our previous scanning of the entire class path. Now there is one more way to specify the root resource classes and that is through one abstract class called application which is provided by JAX-RS. We can extend this class and specify the root resource classes 
by overwriting its get classes method. First, we'll comment out init param for package scanning in the web.xml. And we will try to use the application class to specify the root resource classes. For that, let's create one class, my application. which extends from application import the package overwrite the get classes method here we'll create one hash set of class add our root resource class here user services dot class and then return that set import this package okay so this is our application class and we have overwritten get classes method of the application class and we added our root resource class in the hash set and returned that same set. Now we need to put this my application class in the web.xml to tell Jersey that this application class should be used to get the root resource classes. Now if we don't specify this in web.xml then it again searches for the root resource classes in the entire class path. So let's go ahead and add one init param here for the servlet. Copy this. Param name would be java application. Class will be my application okay now build the project and run it on the server Okay. Now let's hit, hit this URL and uh, check the console now. It's saying that it has instantiated my application class. So it has picked up our application class and then we can see one warning here that user services dot get user must return a non void type. So it has been able to pick up our user services resource class through my application class. So these are mainly 
two ways to specify the root resource class. First, by specifying the package name in the packages property and second by specifying our application class in the application property. So this is it for this video. We'll see some more things of the RESTful web service in the next video. Thanks for watching.